Hello, my name is Marie-Andrée Lamontagne. I am the director of programming of the Blue Metropolis International Literary Festival in Montreal. In 2023, for its 25th anniversary edition, the festival will award its Grand Prix to the Canadian writer, the great Canadian writer, Michael Ondaatje. Michael Ondaatje, whom we will have the great pleasure of welcoming to Montreal at the festival for the, the occasion. Michael Ondaatje, good morning, good day. Good morning, how are you? Fine, fine. You agree to answer a few questions as a prelude to your yes. visit, so we are very uh, happy about chatting with you this morning. So first, um, I have a few questions. Um, first, what is your connection, if you have any, to Montreal and to the Blue Metropolis uh, Festival? Even though that will be the first time you will be participating to the festival, which is for me um, a, a mystery. <laughs> But uh, anyway, what is your connection, if you have any, with Montreal and Blue Metropolis? Well, when I first came to Canada in, I think, 1962 or something like that, I was uh, going to Bishop's University in Lennoxville. So the city I would go to on weekends or wherever, you know, to see films or plays was Montreal. So, I mean, the first Canadian city I, I really knew was Montreal, you know, for about two or three years. And I have been to the festival, I think. You know, I, I remember hearing... Norman Mailer, when he got the Yes, award. I do remember. So you were there? I was there. And oh. I, I was also on some panel or a reading. Yeah. But I, you know, I'm very conscious of the festival. And I, I'm, I think I've been there perhaps anonymously <laughs> a yeah. few times. No, no, I remember with Norman Miller, I, I was saying about the, the award, the Grand Prix. You deserved the Grand Prix for many, many years. So that was a mystery for me that uh, you haven't got the Grand Prix yet. But that will be uh, in a few months, that will be all set. Uh, talking of um, awards, in the past, you have received many, the Giller Prize, the Booker Prize, Le Prix Médicis, the Governor General Literary Award, many times, uh, the Scotia Bank Giller Prize, the Commonwealth Writers Prize. Now in 2023, the Blue Metropolis Grand Prix. What do all these awards, this collection of awards, um, the one in the past and the, now this one, mean to you? It is a recognition of your work, but what else? You know, it, 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 is, it is an honor, first of all, to, to get the, the, this award or these awards in the past, but it doesn't actually influence you in any way, I hope, because, you know, I think in the end, when you start to work the next day or whenever it is, you go back to writing, you know, you are in exactly the same position you were in before you got any awards. You know, it doesn't give you any, re any real confidence. So it's a very kind of odd thing. I mean, I'm truly honored by these awards. I think one of the things that happened to me that was really useful was when I won the Booker Prize, I set up an award in Sri Lanka for writers in Sri Lanka. Um, with, I think it could be poetry or fiction or nonfiction. And it, it kind of was wonderful because it really opened up the possibility of an award. And <clears throat> we discovered lots of things and someone like, um, You know, the guy who wrote um, Chinaman, who just won the Booker, he, he, for his earlier book, Chinaman, he got the award that was set up by me in Sri Lanka. But it's, it's very odd that, you know, the real influence isn't there. It's just what you're kind of learning at the moment, you know. And, and you sit down to write and, you know, everything is unknown still. So what what you what you're thinking when you're writing, and not the audience that is getting larger and larger because of the awards, probably. You don't think yeah, about the audience. I don't think you can think about the audience at all. Otherwise, it'll just about you know terrify you. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, the public in general knows you better for your novels, for fiction, uh, but poetry is also very, very important uh, part of your work. Are these categories of criticism uh, in terms of a literary genre, po prose versus poetry, um, are they significant for you? They're very important to me. You know, I, I don't want to be known as a novelist or... Yeah. I don't mind being known as an office, but I'd also been, like to be known as a poet or someone who writes nonfiction at times. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's like being allowed 
several voices, you know, and um, to feel that I, I have to write this kind of book um, doesn't really appeal to me. The kind of writers who I'm very interested in, like D.H. Lawrence or John Berger, or um, many writers who are poets as well as novelists are the ones who interest me. You know, D.H. Lawrence, I would not want to read just D.H. Lawrence's novels. Uh, he was, he's, he's a great poet. And, you know, Raymond Carver, who's mm. known as a great short story writer. In fact, I like his poetry more than his, you know, um, fiction. So Stephen Hyten or Roy Fiuca, all the, these are the, my kind of heroes are these writers who can have diff different voices. And maybe it's better for, it's more um, stimulating for a writer like you to blur the frontiers, the lines between poetry and prose. Yeah, I, I, I don't like frontiers. <laughs> you don't like frontiers. <laughs> Uh, last question from Dainty, Dainty Monster in 1967 to Warlight in 2018. I counted three, 33 titles. You are for sure an established and celebrated writer. When starting to write in the morning, are you still in the same state of mind and curiosity uh, entering into uncharted territories? I think I have to be. You know, I have to be on. Uh, I, I don't want to sit down and write what I already know, for instance. You know, I'm not, when you hear people talking about their writing their memoirs and you think, but you already know what your memoirs are. You know, I'd be much more interested to sit down and invent a memoir, you know. Uh, and I, I just feel that f the freedom of not knowing what's going to occur that day is very important to me, you know. And it's, 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 a, it's a joy and it's a tension as well, you know, at the same time. So the unknown is a joy and a tension at the same time. I'm afraid so. <laughs> I'm afraid. Of, for, lucky we are. You are afraid, so you're writing. You keep writing. Thank you very much, Michael Ondaatje. I invite the public who are watching um, our conversation to continue uh, this conversation when you come to the Blue Metropolis Festival. That will be on April 29, Saturday evening. Uh, all the details on our website. Thank you very much, Michael Ondaatje. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me.